Hey, it's the radio guy, Dr. Mike Prince. Welcome to another production here from the Open Mic Broadcast Network. It is our mission to try to bring you some news you can use. Today is no exception to the rule. Follow me on X at the Mike Prince Show. Subscribe to the YouTube channel at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Do remember to visit our website at obnradio.com. With all that, let us jump right into today's episode. It is Saturday morning, which means that it is spring football on the hill at Prairie View A&M University. Everyone has been anticipating this, so the festivities will begin at 11 a.m. Central Time. Although you've had Spring Fest kick off and it's off to a lovely, safe weekend thus far in Prairie View A&M University land. With that being established, we have some more Uh, scrimmage games that will be going throughout the conference. You'll have uh, the Southern Jags with their spring game. You'll also have uh, the FAMU Rattlers and much, much more as we'll gather in and try to get in contact with Coach Heist Northern next week to get a summary of how these camps have played out. Meanwhile, we have baseball that's getting into the thicket of things coming up on this mid-season series from this weekend started and of course started out on Friday night and we'll roll right into some of our Friday night baseball results throughout the Southwestern Athletic Conference. On the east side Alabama State rolls out with the first win over Bethune Cookman with a score of five to four. Jackson State was victorious over the Alabama A&M Bulldogs by the score of nine to one. We were not able to get a Result for the FAMU Mississippi Valley game one, but we'll get that up to speed as soon as we can. Meanwhile, over on the west side of things, you had the Texas Southern Tigers victorious over University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff by the score of nine to six. Prairie View takes game one in Lorman, Mississippi against the Alcorn State Braves by the score of 11 to 6. The two top teams in the West first game was postponed due to weather concerns and issues, so they'll play a doubleheader on Saturday starting at 1 p.m. And of course, I'm talking about the Grambling State Tigers and the Southern University Jags. So we still got a lot of baseball to be covered over the weekend. And of course, the Open Mic Broadcast Network is the place for you to get your baseball fix. All you have to do is follow us on X at the Mike Prince Show or subscribe to the YouTube channel at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. In other news throughout the Southwestern Athletic Conference last week, the Alabama State Hornets announced that they will be introducing flag football for women throughout the conference. Well, we want to know if it's going to be throughout the conference. However, could this be the start of a new trend for the Southwestern Athletic Conference? Do you think that other SWAC schools would have an interest in trying to get women's flag football off the ground? It would be a very interesting take to see what the response would be throughout the rest of the conference. In other collegiate news that definitely has hit the national Uh, waves is the NAIA has officially come out to state that uh, trender gen women which is men who have transitioned over to women would not be allowed to participate in women athletics due to some advantages and there have been some other stipulations and rules that unless a person started the hormonal uh, treatment change at the age of 12 they might consider allowing them to transition over. But it's created a lot of kickback and response throughout the nation. We've taken a poll to see how you, the listeners here with the Open Mic Broadcast Network, feel one way or the other about that. You can go and check out that poll on our X handle at the Mike Prince Show. Where do you stand? Do you agree with the NAIA and allowing it uh, illegal for uh, transgender females to be able to participate in women's collegiate athletics. We'll see how the rest of the United States respond as far as collegiate athletics to the latest results from the NAIA. And before we get out of here, we still want to remind you guys that you do have time to participate with the Panther Support Network annual domino tournament beginning 
on the campus today throughout all of the Spring Fest festivities. You want to get in for $125 to help support the Prairie View Athletic Programs. You're more than welcome to be a part of it. You can reach out to Mr. Dino Robinson at 713-417-2090 or Mr. Greg Austin at 713-582-8181. Either one of those men will be able to help you uh, get your uh, seat at the table or if you just want to make a donation. Also want to remind you about the two golf tournaments that will be coming up in May to support Prairie View Athletics. Of course, the Panther Backers with Mr. Dino Robinson. They'll be on May the 6th. And the Panther Club will have their tournament from Hempstead on May 24th. I am the radio guy, Dr. Mike Prince. Thank you guys so much for joining in with us. Continue to spread the love. Help us grow and share back with the rest of the world the beauty that is within the Southwestern Athletic Conference. My time has come where I must exit stage left for right now. So until the next time, you guys be blessed and we'll see you on the other side.